another bait that's going out. I, I'm one of the sweep testers. I get two hours to sweep a small part of that program. It ain't enough. And I want to switch my lines of business with somebody else who has a line of business that I worry about. Of course, now there's another one to worry about and I didn't even realize. I have to preface it by saying that I like most of the people I work with. I think we have a great group of people there at my company. Really. And, and there's talent, and there's good people. <clears throat> but regarding the, the, the corporate culture, if you can call it that, and the Upper, upper management. I'm talking upper, upper. I have no trouble with my immediate boss. No. It's upper, upper, upper. I end up shaking my head a lot where I work. And it's to the point where I, the only way I can maintain my own sanity there. <laughs> I know that was funny. Um, no, really, I know that was funny. Uh, is to just tell myself that I work for crazy people. I work for insane people. I work for people who do the same thing over and over expecting a different result. And <laughs> this is, it's a good job. It could be better. But I have very little control over my destiny there, really. I mean, besides my own... I'm not climbing a corporate ladder. I'm 54 years old. What I want is a job that interests me, working with fun people for a company of people that are not insane. And the work I do is often very interesting. And I work with fine people in my own department. We occasionally even have a good time. It's, it's the corporate strategies, the lack of big picture vision, the not managing by walking around, boy, you know, they could get such an education if they just did that. And I've been, I've been talking to Blue in the Face about it, and I am done with trying to convince any of management, upper management to do that. I'm done. <laughs> you know, I'm done. I've worked there over 10 years. It's the longest I have ever worked anywhere. So, obviously, there's things I like there. Obviously, there are redeeming values. And even the people who are nuts, I think, are nice people. You know, they're nice enough people. But they won't listen. And they won't listen, you know. Even a general will occasionally talk to people in the trenches. And say, how is it? I want you to tell me. A good general. They don't. They don't want to know what's going on, actually going on. And why certain things take place that are not good. All they need to do is ask. They don't need to hire consultant teams. All they need to do ask. Just ask. Put out, as Eli Lilly has for many years, a suggestion box. This is how Eli Lilly does it. They have a self-carbon form, two sheets, connected. You write out your suggestion. 
you keep the copy and you submit a copy into one of the many suggestion boxes that are all over that complex. If your idea is taken under advisement and maybe even implemented, you get a freaking reward. They had something like this here a few years ago and every suggestion I put in, every one of them, well, no, that's not the direction we're going to take. Thank you for submitting your suggestion, but we have decided not to take that particular tag. Thank you for submitting your suggestion, but. Thank you for submitting your suggestion, but. And I even submitted a suggestion once. They actually did it and never credited me. I'm like, and, and, and they really didn't utilize it the way I suggested anyway, so. It's, it's a hot, windy day, very windy, storm-ridden for the next five days. Storm capacity is high, very high. And uh, then, then, then the end of the day is Friday, and I am looking forward to that with such relish, because I don't have an event planned this weekend. I love those. I have things I'd like to do, but it's not an event planned. I don't know what it is about me with planning and events. I just, I have an issue. <laughs> I know that was funny. I know that was funny. So I'll talk to you later.